When working with notebooks in VS Code, such as with Jupyter Notebooks, you can fold away code cells based on what section of the document they appear in. These sections are defined by markdown headers, and this folding can be useful as it lets you go and hide sections of the document that you're currently not using. Let's take a look at this in action. So here I have a simple Jupyter Notebook. You can see at the top, I have a markdown cell that is containing a markdown header here. Below that, I have a code cell, and then some head subheaders as well below that. Now let's say that I'm no longer interested in the content for the top level header section here. In that case, I can go and fold it away so that it's not going to show up in my document. To do that, I can go to the cell that is defining the header that I'm interested in. So here, that would be for top level header. Go over to the left of the cell and click on the little folding icon here. That is the chevron. So I'll click on this, and it is going to go and fold away all the cells that appear below that header section. In this case, we can see that it's folded away three cells. That is folded away the code cell plus its output, as well as the two markdown cells for subheaders that appeared below this top level header. To go and show those cells again, all I have to do is click on the folding icon over here. So again, click on the little chevron, and now I'm seeing all of the original cells. Now, if I go and fold the top level header again here, you notice that only these three cells have been hidden. Everything below the other top level header here has not been folded. That is because these two headers have the same level, and when you're folding something, it is only going to fold the content below that header. It stops when you reach another header of the same level. These headers, you can think of defining sections in the notebook document. You can really understand this a little bit better by looking at the code down here. So here at the top, we have a top level header that is defined by a single pound sign in the markdown. Below that, we have two subheaders that are defined by two pound signs. When I go and fold one of these subheaders, it will actually fold only the code under that subheader. So it stops when it reaches that other subheader down here, which has the same level as the subheader I was folding before. When I go and fold the top level header though for this section, notice how it's going to fold both subheaders. So I'll go in here, fold that. And now it's folded both subheaders and all content under those subheaders. However, that folding does stop when it reaches another header of the same level. In this case, top again, which just has a single pound sign. If you find yourself using folding quite a lot, there are also keyboard shortcuts you can use to go and fold and unfold cells. That will work on the currently focused cell. So if I open the command palette with control shift P or command shift P, I can say fold cell. And you'll notice the notebook fold cell and unfold cell commands here, along with the keyboard shortcut. So I can say unfold cell in this case, because I'm on a currently folded cell. And then I will go and expand the cell that I was currently focused on. So that's a quick look at how you can fold notebook documents in VS Code.